Well, this video is for the Robo support team. Um, my name is Greg. This is my third Robo printer. The first two were a C2 model, or uh, yeah, the C2s. First one, the uh, Z plate was crooked from the get go, so I never had a good print. The second one was DOA. And this is my third one. Fry's was nice enough to let me return it for store credit to buy the, the upgraded model. So, uh, here we are. I've only got like a couple of successful prints. Check it out, a glow in the dark HTC Vive controller holder. And uh, anyway, this little thing, which actually stopped midway and it didn't tell me my filament was empty. And it wasn't empty, it just, the extruder was like hanging up an inch above it trying to print the rest with invisible uh, plastic. Um, this was my last print and uh, somehow got botched. Before every print, I uh, calibrate my Z-axis and my bed, everything, because I want to ensure a good quality print. Anyway, uh, the extruder is hot right now. You guys have asked me to record a video and show you what's going on, so I'm doing just that. Um, I'm going to print something small here, just so you guys can see. So what happens is the bed goes down. I wonder if I can turn the flash on. And then that thing goes to its corner, you know, calibrates, yada yada yada. The bed goes up. 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 Now, I'm recording this video because you guys are asking me to. I'm sure you guys are fully aware that this may cause additional damage to the printer, but I'm fully confident that you guys will take 100% care of me because I'm a loyal to the Robo brand, even though this is my third printer, and I've only, <laughs> and I've only ever had a few good prints. And uh, the hot end just burned a hole in my plate permanently. So if you guys send me a replacement part, make sure you guys send me a replacement plate too, because now this thing needs to be replaced. Um, hopefully, oh, another thing I've noticed that I should probably point out is that um, the lights in here are very dim, which tells me this may be an electrical issue. This, yeah, this should definitely be brighter than that. That's, that's very dim. So, I don't know what's going on. Um, I looked in here, I didn't really see anything too out of the ordinary. Nothing burnt or, you know, whatever I can smell. But uh, whatever this problem appears to be, it appears to be electrical. Um, my understanding is that this thing is supposed to shine a red light when you put something beneath it to detect that's how it's supposed to detect the plate and auto level it but hopefully it's just that sensor is bad and it's causing a lot other electrical issues to the other things maybe once that sensor is replaced my lights will go full brightness again but uh, I think the next step to take to troubleshoot this would be to send me a replacement sensor and bed and see if that doesn't solve the problem what do you guys think what I have here is a uh, probing failed. It says to uh, reset connection. It says to contact support. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, also, I have all this filament just waiting to be printed and no way to print it. I've had this filament since my first printer. And now I can't print at all. 